Hello, it's nice to have you folks back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. This time, I'm going to be introducing you to the modern brick Santa Fe station kit from the nice folks at Walters. This is a brand new cornerstone kit, just recently came out, HON3. Very nicely made, very nicely tooled. Has lots of instructions with it. Generally, I like instructions that have lots of drawings and not too many words. Well, this one has a few more words than I want, but that's okay. And here's what the footprint looks like. It's a little over 8 inches wide and about 21 and a half inches long. So it's a pretty big thing. And as always, I pull all the parts out to start. Make sure there's no bits that are missing or broken. Now I do got to tell you that with these plastic kits, never ever ever break them off of the backing of the sprues. Always use either a flush mount nipper or a sharp razor knife. And then of course when you get done nipping it off, take a moment or two and make sure to clean it up with a fingernail file. I like the colors that come with the kit, but I didn't like the kind of shiny plastic, so I got out my Robert's Brick Mortar formula. If you've never used this stuff, it works great. It makes all of the grout lines on the brick just stand right out, real easy. You just paint it on, let it dry, and then wipe it off. And I want to mention to always use the least amount of glue possible to hold stuff together. And I always like to use the top quality glue, such as this Testers. It really does work and pay off. As Walters is always really good about building their models, it's basically idiot proof. These things can only go together one way and there's multiple parts that go on top of each other and it makes for a really nice model. And don't forget the handy helpers. I got lots of helpers, weights and different things that I use to hold stuff together while the glue's drying. Before long you get a whole pile of sub-assemblies, pieces that are almost ready to go together. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle because there are lots of parts in this particular kit. So with lots of parts you also need lots of handy helpers. As you see I've got stuff holding up the walls all over the place. And these little handy helpers, sometimes these bits and pieces don't want to go in place where you want them to. So you have to use a little bit of extra mm, muscle, let's call it. One of my biggest questions is what corner to start. Because this kit has all kinds of bits and pieces. So you start putting the bits and pieces together and putting them on here, putting them on there. Sometimes, like earlier, it didn't want to go together exactly the way I wanted it to, so I had to use a little extra muscle on it. But before long, all of a sudden you have this lovely finished brick station. This kit took me about two hours, fun-filled hours put together, and I must say it was fun enough that I'm considering making plastic models again. I don't make too many plastic ones anymore, I used to. With so many great craftsman kits on the market, I just haven't got time for everything. But look at this. Look at the way this came out. This is one of the finest new Walters kit that they've come out with in, well, the recent history for sure. This kit is something that you can have some fun with. I've had a lot of fun with. The only thing I might caution you is the size of it, the sheer size of it. Make sure you got the room for it before you put your time and effort into building it. Or you might just build it because it was fun. That's how I did it. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. See you again sometime soon.